Hello, my name is Mark Hoddle. I'm the director for the Center for Invasive Species Research at the University of California, Riverside. On June the 2nd, 2011, a second Canary Islands palm was treated at a private residence in Laguna Beach. Here you can see a cherry picker that was used to uh, lift two of us up into the crown of the palm tree. And once up there, we removed fronds by cutting to make an observation window. This observation window was approximately six to seven feet in width and the idea behind the observation window was to allow easy visual access into the crown of the palm tree to look for red palm weevil feeding damage. No live red palm weevils were found at the site, however feeding tunnels were found in the base of the fronds. Here you can see the carapace or the thorax of an adult red palm weevil with the characteristic red stripe. All removed palm material was chipped and then taken to a certified landfill and buried. The palm itself was treated with a systemic insecticide called imidacloprid. Here you can see injection ports being knocked into the trunk of the tree approximately 0.5 meters above the ground and the spacing between these injection ports is approximately 6 inches. Hand application of imidacloprid at approximately one mil was made into each of those injection ports. The observation window was then treated with bifenthrin, a contact insecticide, and then any damage on the trunk of the tree was treated with dinotefuron at a systemic neonicotinoid which has rapid uptake into the palm tree. The idea behind these three palm treatments, uh, the bifenthrin, the imidacloprid, and the dinotefuran is to protect this palm tree from feeding damage by red palm weevil.